makes me it makes me feel proud of myself for being able to accomplish something I really wanted to do. One nation under God, indivisible, with the with liberty and justice for all. Barbershop friends of mine over the summer saw the video of them performing on YouTube and they said, you should take your kids to midwinter. I didn't know what that was. In the history of the school, we've never had a group travel that far. And uh, this, is a, this is a huge, huge deal for the school. Ready, go. One, two, three, stop. Ready. Our rehearsals usually last 10 to 15 minutes a shot. They come in at the end of the 6th and 8th grade lunch. They'll come in during homeroom. And every once in a while, I'll schedule a rehearsal that lasts for a half hour to 45 minutes in the middle of the day. But for the most part, we rehearse in small periods of time. So they're, they're never really taxed. And the kids seem to, they feel like they're into it as much as me. There was a boy from Arkansas who would listen to his mom when she told him most favorite part is when you switch parts in you switch parts in a song like you switch you go from high to low to lower to higher to lower that's what my favorite part is I'm in third grade but my smarts are a little higher than that it's been really 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 hard without my mom and dad I'm trying to see my parents again because I have not been able to see my mom in a long time. And my dad, the last time I saw him till December when he came visiting was since my third birthday. I really am into the barbershop sound. Like I really like the sound of it all because it just sounds really cool and like it has a nice blend like when you get it all together, you know? We have a student named Jacob. He's been blind since birth and he's brilliant musically. He has perfect pitch. I can play any note on the piano and he'll name it. He plays trumpet. He does swimming. He does roller skating. I think he does horseback riding, he does a lot of stuff, and I figure choreography, he'll master that. Choreography was a huge, huge challenge for him. Huge, bigger than I imagined. And he can't, he has no point of reference, he can't see anything. He makes effort, effort to learn this choreography, working on moves that everybody in the world would see but him. And he doesn't care, he wants to get them right. singing along, it makes you feel like you're doing your, a true life story. It makes you, you, makes you think you're, you're not even in reality anymore. It makes you think like you're in your own mind. You're just doing what you want. That's what it's like for me. I mean, I just love how much the audience likes it, and ooh, and ahs, and yeah, and you know, that this 
makes it feel good. Everybody just went nuts. Like it was, it was wild. Like the place just erupted. They're not just some group at the school. It's always made me feel good when I feel sad. It's always done that. They're almost like the star football team in our school. When they come out and the audience cheers, they feel like they're ready, they're at the playoffs. It makes it feel good because you knew that you did, you did something right, you know? You did, you did something awesome that everybody liked. This group is very amazing. Hearing the cheers from the audience as they come out is just so fulfilling. Ever since kindergarten, I listened to this group. I thought I, it would be amazing if I could join it. And look at me now. Here I am. I'm with the group now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are live here at Quinton School with the Wildcat Harmonizers. Never give up. You always got to keep trying. I'm, I'm really excited about it. It makes me feel really happy. It's just just so amazing. I'll see you guys out in Reno.